Hello students, in this video we'll see how to delta gamma approximate and how to delta gamma hedge. Suppose that a stock price changes from S of T to S of T plus H. Then, how does a call option change? To answer this question, we will use the Taylor approximation. So the Taylor approximation will tell me that C of T plus H is C of T plus H C prime of T plus H squared over 2 C double prime of T and so on. So in this problem we can apply the Taylor formula with S instead of T. So C of S of T plus H, one stock price that's different, is C S of T plus the change in the stock price, so I'll put a delta S over here, times partial C partial S. And then I'll have a one-half delta S squared, partial squared C, partial S squared, plus the higher order terms. So what we have over here is where the delta S is S of T plus H minus S of T, the change in the stock price. So we apply the Taylor formula with S. So now we can write this out, what this is in terms of delta and gamma. So this tells me that S, that C of, we'll call this S of T plus H, is equal to C S of T plus delta S times the delta of that call option, plus one half the change in S squared times the gamma of the call option. And so this expression over here is referred to as the delta gamma approximation. So if the stock instantaneously changes, that tells us how to compute the change in the premiums of the call options up to the second order terms. Now we can see how we can delta gamma hedge. Suppose that we have a stock and two different call options. Let's say C1 and C2. Then what we can do is we can construct, if we own the stock and the call option, so if we own, say C1, then we can delta gamma hedge by solving the system. Well, what system do we want to solve? We'll purchase X of the stock. We will have the call option C1, and we'll do Y of the call option C2 will be a portfolio designed to hedge. To delta gamma hedge, we'll compute the delta of this. So to compute the delta of this, we'll do the derivative with respect to S. And we will get the derivative of X with res XS with respect to S is just X plus I will have the delta 
of the C1 plus y, the delta of the C2, and we'll set this equal to zero. And we'll compute the gamma by doing the second S derivative. And the second S derivative will give me the gamma of C1 plus y, the gamma of C2, and set this equal to zero. So solving the system of equations <coughs> will be easy to do because we'll see, simply see that y will be the ratio of negative gamma C1 over gamma C2. Once we know y, we can plug it back into this equation and find x, assuming that we know the gammas and the deltas of these call options. So if we solve this equation for x and y, will tell us to purchase or sell x of the stock and purchase or sell y of the C2 option. And that is how you delta gamma hedge. Thank you very much.